Hi folks, I hope you're doing okay. It's Friday the 13th of August, my sister-in-law's birthday. Um, it's about 24, yeah, 24 in the afternoon. Uh, I'm in the house on my own. <laughs> the kids have gone out with their friend and their friend's mum, I think, delivering um, some leaflets for the sale trail. They did our street and the two little side streets Wednesday, I think. I kicked him out of the house. I was like, go fetch some leave, let's do something. So they did. Um, uh, and they're going to do some more with their friend. Um, so I don't know how long they'll be out for, but they're out, so that's nice. How did I celebrate this, you know, glorious time to myself? I chucked away all the cat litter and washed out the litter trays and dried them and brought in the bin and cleaned the bin out and hoovered the whole house and yeah oh did all the recycling <laughs> i know how to have fun um but i have sat down to crochet um i've got one kitty here i don't know where oh mortimer's on my sofa but i don't you can't see him He's on the sofa back there. Um, and Mr. Pickle is on the footstool here, can you? Yeah, it is. My Mr. Pickle. Um, they're doing well. They're growing. They're growing. Um, we've got to get them back into the vets for the old snippy snip, which I'm sure they won't thank us for, but, you know, needs must, and then we can think about letting them out and all the things that go with them being bigger boys. Um, they're still lovely. They're really, really good. Um, and they come and sit with me most days. One or the other of them will sit on my lap when I'm working. Or both of them will try to and then it, they get <coughs> angry at each other. But they're really, really good. Um, so, video. I am going to the yarn shop tomorrow. Um, the, the local yarn shop that's closing down. It's actually closing on the 21st of August. They said to me when I was in there, oh, we're here till the end of the year, but obviously something's changed um, and, and they're closing next weekend. Um, but I've ordered some stuff anyway that I need to go fetch tomorrow and then I'll probably spend a bit more money while I'm there. You know, helping them out. Just, just buying more yarn. Um, I put my name down for some King Cole Cotton Soft Crush, I think, like the stuff I had to do, the Rings of Change blanket. There's a pack of 10, and I think it's marked down to 18 pounds. That's, I was like, yes. Um, and then some Cotton Soft, just Cotton Soft in yellow. And I, th I can't remember if there's eight or 10 balls, but that's about 15 pounds. So, bargain. But I wanted to show you this today because it's going to my friend tomorrow and I won't have time. Um, I'm just checking if this is the neighbour. No, it's not. It's alright, there's a white car coming down the street that looks like the neighbour's car and I've got a parcel for her and I thought, oh no. Plus they're right next door and she'll see me sitting in the window talking to myself and waving an elephant around. I finished, well, I don't even think, had I even started this? This is a one and two company. Uh, Hugh, his name is, the elephant, H-U-E, like... Different shoe. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Um, I think he's adorable. Um, so this is all using DK yarn. The grey, I believe, is uh, just an Aldi, the Dove grey. And then these are all Mariners. Uh, just the Mariners DK that I've bought in various recent hauls. Um, Oh, I love him. Look at his little tail. Floof his tail. I've not floofed it with a brush properly. Um, but I was talking about this to uh, a friend of mine, Tina, saying that I got I bought a pattern. What did I, buy? I bought a pattern for something else. Or oh, one and two company got a sale on their patterns, which doesn't. I'd, I've not seen it that often. So I bought the really cute reindeer. And what else did I buy? I can't remember what else, but, but I, I, bought, I saw this, I saw his little nose, his little trunk, and I was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. So I bought him, and she was like, I love elephants. I was like, ah, oh, just file that away for later. So uh, Jack is actually going to their house tomorrow. Uh, he's going to stay the night, and I think they're going to 
think it's Mablethorpe. Um, but yeah, they're taking Jack to the seaside, so I thought the least I could do was make a cute little elephant for Tina. So she doesn't know, um, so I've not been able to post any pictures on social media or anything. Um, because she's friends with me on there and she'll see and I don't want to ruin the surprise so this will go up after um, I've given him to her but how sweet is his little face oh so cute so he's done he's been hanging out in my room because I don't leave any toys down here now because of the cats Ooh. oh drunk elephant um, I am now working on I've just had to go outside and fetch white because I put all my yarn away from the elephant and cleared out my crochet bag and put the white away and now I need white straight away I was like I am making I haven't got a print out of it um Angela of Yarn and Yarns hi Ange is doing a no along um sort of any any sort of gnome knit crochet um she said if you can convince her it's it's gnome related it's in um but this is going to be a um gonk like a, the, like the santa gonks i made <clears throat> but the deal is you buy the santa pattern and then the clothing patterns and the different um it's like the it's like an evolution story or the story of i think she calls it the story of is it a gonk's story or something like that and there's like caveman gonk and there's a pirate and a scrooge and a wizard like a gandalf and oh god loads there's an aviator a fisherman which is what i'm making um so you buy the it's hooked on patterns um ling ryan um that you buy the the santa pattern and then basically on her website, which it will be linked below, is just a make it as per the Santa pattern, but these colours in this row. So this is uh, yellow to row 13 and then black for two rounds. And then you make a vest, then you go into the skin colour and you make his, what would be used as his head, but you basically just sew a nose on it and then do a beard around it and all we see is the nose. Um, Where's the other things I've made? So I've made... It's got a little fisherman's hat. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Um, and I've made his jacket. Oh, it's so sweet. So before I'd even made him, I'd made the jacket. Because I could just follow the jacket from the website. Any uh, sort of additional clothing or anything that's completely different to the Sands pattern is, is on the website for you to, to do. So. Um, when Ange announced her gnome along, I was like, I think I need to make uh, a, a fisherman gonk. He's got like a little yellow rain jacket and his, his uh, hat. <coughs> Excuse me, that's my his hat. So it's really sweet. Um, so yeah, just plodding along doing that. And then I'm going to make a few bits, I think, for the sail trail. Just some extras, some little things. Um, to add to it, so I've brought a few colours in. Where are all the patterns? I picked some patterns when I was looking for the whoop, um, gonk patterns. I thought I'd um, pull some patterns out. Um, oh yeah, I've printed some of my different, uh, some of the different gonk patterns. So the Scrooge, Dwarf, Wizard, Pirate, and then I've got Santa and Oh no, that's just an alternative outfit for the Santa Gonk. Then I've brought in the um, Baby Mike and Sully patterns. Uh, that's by A Morning Cup of Joe. Um, you know, the little Baby Mike and Sully sort of. Um, they're not quite Zum Zums, but they do look like the round Zum Zums that people were making. Um, very cute. And then I brought in my seahorse pattern. It's not mine. Um, hang on. I've got the front page. Because I'm halfway through the pattern, that's not very good. No, I don't think I've got a front patient's pattern in the picture of her. No, I'll tell you what. Hold it up. 
Two of those seahorses. Who's that by? I don't know because it looks like I've cut off what I was printing. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I think it's one dog. One dog wolf. Is this one I always think is one dog wolf and it's not one dog wolf? I'll link it below. I think it's one dog something. Wolf or wolf. I'm not sure. So I've got a few, I might, uh, a few patterns to sort of try and make a few little things to add to my already quite substantial haul, uh, stock, I suppose. Um, it's not like a craft fair, this sale trail, but um, when, we, when we went two years ago, there was a lady selling crochet stuff and Jack actually bought something off her. Um, he bought a key ring. I'm like, you don't pay for my crochet, you rudeness. <laughs> pay for this lady. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. The kids are, keep saying they're going to get stuff out of their um, bedrooms and try and, you know, sell it. Because when we, when we went to it last time, the kids bought a load of um, Skylanders off a boy who lives across the street. Um, and I don't think they've ever really played with them, so maybe they can sell them on. But, um, I don't know. We didn't pay a lot for them, but anything that's taken up space, I keep saying to Jack, "Have you, you know?" He's like, "I want my own table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell all my own stuff." I was like, oh, six quid, please. <laughs> I thought that's the point. I've got to buy a table. Uh, I may just buy like a pasting table to use. We've got time to figure that out anyway. So. That's it really. I will probably try and pop back on tomorrow to show you what I got uh, from the wool shop, the yarn shop. So yeah, I hope you're doing well. Um, take care. The kitties say hi, or well, they would do if they're awake. And if they've dozed off, it's hard being that cute. They have to get their beauty sleep. They have to uh, recharge. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're doing all right. Take care of yourself. I'm gonna gonna chill for as long as they're not here <laughs> um yeah so take care and i will talk to you again soon bye guys hi folks uh, i hope you're doing okay it's saturday the 14th of august quarter to five in the afternoon i've been to the local yarn shop um i picked up the pack of king cold cotton soft that i've uh, reserved which is this color it's shade 2435 Rainbow. Isn't it pretty? Uh -huh. I have 10. <laughs> um, it was £18 for the 10, which is for Cotton Soft. You're looking about £3.80 a ball normally. So I got like two quid cheaper a ball. And Cotton Soft is beautiful. It's. Uh, I'll just put the ball back. Oops, got a bit of a busted one. 100% cotton, 229 yards, 210 meters, 100 grams a ball. And I think I used six or seven of these to make the really big rings of change. Um, I don't know what I'll do with this one. Pickle, careful. Pickle's behind the camera. So I got that, and then I got one, two, three, eight balls of just the King Cole cotton soft. Hello. Come here. Say hello to Pickleton. Say hello. You're getting big. Oh, steady, steady. Um, this is Antique Gold 3461. You can see that. Pretty. They have a couple of packs of this. Um, uh, like a Cerisi pink. Uh, Blue, like a turquoise blue. Sorry if you can hear that play. Um, but I like the yellow. So that was seventeen fifty, I think, for the eight. Um, and then the only one I'd actually got reserved was the cotton, so uh, the cotton soft crush, the, the rainbow one. But then she got some other packs marked down. I think this was like seven pounds. So it's five packs. There's five. Five packs, five balls of Hayfield Baby Bonus Extra Value DK. Uh, 100 grams, 306 yards, 280 meters, 100% acrylic. Ooh. Shade uh, 0620 Baby Elephant. Ooh. 
No, it's more green. Um, yeah, nice grey, darker grey. So five of those. Like I said, I think it was like seven quid. Fine. And then <laughs> this was a. Um, I think I'd seen this on her Facebook page. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, but I hadn't said yes, go for it. But then it was still there. So it's Starcraft Highland Heathers. It's colour granite. It's that shade 3742. Let me open the bag. It's a full bag of 10. I don't know if it'll show all the, um, like the variation in colour. But it's really pretty. Highland Heathers. 100% premium acrylic, 272 metres, 297 yards. Uh, it's just a DK. It doesn't actually say DK, does it? Yeah, DK weight, it says it. Yeah. Is it focus? Yeah. Um, shade. Uh, oh, Kitty fell down. Are you alright, Mortimer? Come back up. Um, yeah. 10 of them, I think it was 12 pounds. So, yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, I think I'll have that too. So, got lots of yarn, <laughs> lots more yarn, because um, obviously I didn't have enough. Um, I was putting, what was I in there for? Oh, I started a new galaxy of change with my mother in law in mind. Um, I think it's in the front room. I, d I just needed something to crochet in the car. I finished the gonk I was working on, but I haven't got it here, so I'll have to film that separately. Um, but I finished him last night, gave him a beard and everything, so he's upstairs out of the way of the cats. I delivered the elephant today, uh, and she likes it, so that made me smile. Um, yeah, so it's all good. So I'll show you the um, dwarf gonk thing next time. Um, I've not yet decided if I'm going to make any more. Um, I'm going out to the shed in a minute to put all this away. So I'll show you, uh, I'll have a look for some variegated yarns with the seahorses in mind. I started a baby mic this morning from the Morning Cup of Joe patterns, which I'll put below. I'm going to put these um, videos together, possibly. Mind you, yesterday's was quite long, wasn't it? I don't know, maybe I'll tag this on the end if I stop waffling. Um, I've only got four minutes of storage, so I better stop waffling. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna poodle on and do a couple of ambigumis. But I've started another galaxy of change. Yeah, with it in purples and blues of the yarn art, uh, yarn that I got from Lollies. So I'm gonna have that working in the background because it's nice to just have something I can just sit down and crochet and not have to look at you know or have little bits and bobs all the time. So. My amigurumi came back, and then it went away again. Um, but I did enjoy making the elephant and the fisherman gonk, so I just have a few little projects um, just to keep my hand in, I think, but I am really enjoying making blankets. Not that anyone seems to want them. <laughs> that does not deter me. <laughs> but yeah, I went in, oh God, distracted. I went in the shed to look for, um, yarn to, to make this blanket with and I was moving stuff around I was like what's in this box and it's the um, the yarn I got from Derrimore's the blanket kit which you don't actually get the pattern with uh, I checked but the pattern's like £6.50 like, no I'll buy a hooked on sunshine pattern or something um, so that was a diamond geezer gown or something but it's just yarn for the for the collection. <laughs> I'm amassing quite a collection. So I'm going to put this away. My Paul was busy gardening. Uh, Jack's gone to his friends. That's where I've just been. So I've run around like a wally today. This is just mother-in-law. I was at the shop at like 8 o'clock this morning at Asda. And then, no, before 8. About 10 to 8. And then I went to Farm Foods. Picked him up some sweets to take on his trip. Forgot to get cash out. Went to mother-in-law's. Came back, made dinner, went to the yarn shop. Went and got cash. Found somebody's wallet that they dropped on the floor. I had to stand in a queue for 15 minutes to get to custom services to hand this flipping wallet in. Um, 
Then I came home, put up on the front. Jack got in the car with his great big bag. He's only supposed to be staying out at night. He's not staying out two nights. Um, yeah, chucked Jack in the car, went around to my friends. Sat there for two and a bit hours having a cup of tea and a chat. It was lovely. <laughs> so now I'm back to, I've had to cook some tea. But I thought I'd film this before I put everything away. So, yay, got a yarn. Always a good day when you get a yarn. Oh, I just drink the water. I will love you and leave you. Uh, any ideas for my uh, substantial amounts of certain coloured yarns? Let me know. Uh, this yellow might go with the rainbow. That would be an idea, couldn't it? I could make something huge, huge. Maybe they go together. Don't know, but they're pretty. Um, so yeah, I love working with cotton soft. It's so nice, so nice. Um, I don't know. Don't know what I'll end up doing with it, but I'm helping the yarn shop clear their stuff out, and I'm getting a bargain. So win-win, apart from Paul, <laughs> who just scowls at the amount of yarn I'm buying, but. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will speak to you all again soon. I'll show you the gonk that I've made. Um, probably. I'll, I'll try not to buy any more yarn for a bit. I just spent enough money, so I probably shouldn't buy any more yarn. Right, take care. I will speak to you all again soon. Bye, guys.